We are breathing easier with Frank Ferragini. We all want a healthier 2019. Yeah. And you say one surefire way to do it is with plants. Yeah, incorporating plants into your home uh, will give you the feeling, number one, of the tropics and, the, and just seeing green. There's been so many releases, and we do uh, that is studies and releases of the release of serotonin. I don't know if you know what serotonin mm -hmm. is. Serotonin is that, that makes you feel good. Yeah. So in the mind, that's one thing. But there's other plants in there that will do other things than that. So this plant here. Aloe. You got it, yeah. aloe vera, right? So if we think about aloe vera, a fantastic plant, and this is one of the older stems that have already been pulled off, and we look at that gelatin that's sitting in the middle right there, that gooey substance that's right there. That's the good stuff. That's mm -hmm. the good stuff. So let's say that we have a cut. We can use this to help us heal our cuts. Let's say that we have a sunburn. We can use it to help us with our sunburn. And also, you can take that, harvest it, and put it inside smoothies, and that'll help with so digestion. You can eat that, right? Yeah, yeah. for digestion. Mm -hmm. Really, really good for you. Aloe vera is probably the number one plant that's easy to grow, that's it's really beneficial for everybody in the entire household. Now, this here, any guesses? No. No. It's no. a fern. This is just oh, a no, different fern. variety of a fern. Ferns have the best ability to, number one, purify the air. So what they're doing is they're creating more oxygen in your home. But number two, what they do is they have this wonderful ability to take out what's called VOCs. Do you know what VOCs are? Oh, those are things that are emitted. Is that from the plastics? That's from like your carpet, your furniture, uh, a lot of things around your home send out what's called volatile organic compounds. So, you know, if they're made from synthetics, that's what comes out. Mm -hmm. They help to purify. So other plants that will help to purify as well is another one which is called Diefenbachia. And as a matter of fact, Diefenbachia was one of the plants that was used by NASA, and NASA did a study at the space station to show the benefits of uh, plants and how they can actually help overall. Even though it's such a tiny plant? That one, they will grow big. <laughs> That's just a little four-inch pot, okay. but that Diefenbachia itself can get can four get to five it. feet. Nice thing about Diefenbachia is that they are a tropical plant that grows in low light conditions, so for people with mm -hmm. basement apartments and things yeah. like that. We've talked about spider plants. Spider plants, we've talked about them often on this show. It's that 1970s retro plants totally. that we saw in the macrame hanger. Yeah, I think my parents have like eight of these throughout the house. Yeah. And the reason why is they're they, so easy they, and they grow right. easy and mm -hmm. you can you can actually take little stems off. That's another plant that will, re will remove all those volatile uh, organic compounds for your home and as well provide you a little bit of oxygen. Purify the air. Probably, mm -hmm. And you know this one over here which is just a small version of a palm uh, palms, you know, if you can't get away to that destination, yeah. right now, and people on Instagram, people on Facebook, all you're doing is seeing people away on vacation. I know, it's See the season. season. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? Create your own vacation indoors, and, and by putting a tropical plant inside your home, will give you that feeling and hope of summer, but as well, they too, the, the palms have been noted for their air purification properties. That is another fern that's over there as well, which is really quite good. This one here. Uh, so, there's many different Beautiful variations of that. And then finally, this, this guy one? right here. So these are artificial. I just I put them say, on. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie, <laughs> it shouldn't sound this hollow if it's a lime. Wait a minute. Yeah, they're What's artificial, but what this is is citrus. And so what's coming up at the end of this month in the beginning of February? Any guesses? Any guesses? No. Calendar year, Chinese New Year. Oh. Right. Chinese culture and mm -hmm. Chinese New Year, there's always a lot of incorporation of citrus around the home. Not just as a plant itself, but in uh, a lot of fruit. A lot of the times you'll even see peaches, but tangerines. Mm -hmm. The orange uh, represents gold. The plant itself represents prosperity. So sometimes if you believe in a little bit of folklore, yeah. you want to put these plants around, but at the same token, maybe you want to add a little bit of luck to your life. Adding a citrus plant to your home is something that, in terms of feng shui, will bring prosperity, luck, and hopefully more money back to your household. Fruitful, as it were. Very fruitful. And this will grow. We can, it's not too difficult to grow indoors Sunlight. here. Yeah. Bright sun, mm -hmm. western location, west or south location. Number one killer of plants in the wintertime is people just watering too much. Right. Now that our daylight hours are a little bit short, we don't want to water as often, but you want to increase watering. Best thing for these is you put them indoors during the winter, and then in the summer months you pop them outside, and that's when they do very well. Uh, there are kumquats, which is another yeah. citrus plant, mm -hmm. which is really more easier for you to grow. Okay. Uh, but you're going to see right now, if you're wondering why all of a sudden you're seeing all these citrus plants all over the place, it's for Chinese New Year. That's so they can is. last for years and years, really? Oh, 100%. They it's can. Amazing. A little, you know, this is not uh, a beginner plant. 
Right. Medium to intermediate. If you want a beginner plant, yes. okay. that's your beginner plant. So that's plant. the thing, because I know yeah. too many people like myself, we, we kill off plants. We, just, yeah. we have a hard time taking care of ourselves enough. We travel right. a and this. Lot. But the spider plant, I don't like. I'm just not a fan of it. I think so, it's ugly. So what's the best one? I need oxygen in my house. So and, uh, aloe vera is also another easy okay. one. And then the easiest one, which we don't have here, it's here is which is called Zamifolia. Okay. But if you go to your garden center, you just ask for the ZZ plant. Remember ZZ Top? ZZ right. Top. Remember the, yeah, the ZZ, ZZ plant. plant. Easiest plant for you to keep you around. Go. Beginners. Yeah. That's She's what we're that's what Thanks, Chuck Dress Man. That's what we were thinking. Yes. Yeah, Let come on. Right after this, he's got plants. He knows how to use them. They're so bad. We'll be right after this. So bad. <laughs>